Hi everybody, my name is Darren Crockett. I'm the Managing Director of Do Digital Agency. Today we wanted to take you on a case study walkthrough of one of our projects for Gordon Russell. This type of approach to explain our case studies isn't something we've done very often. This is actually my first video, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you'll find it informative, insightful and something that you can refer back to in the future. I think the reason why we've decided to go down the to camera approach is basically because there is so much to talk about and so much to look at and so much to explain about. So hopefully from this video you'll get a better understanding of exactly what we've been doing for some of our customers. So the project I want to speak to you about today was Gordon Russell. Gordon Russell are manufacturers of high-end furniture um, but historically our, our relationship started from the commercial sector. We work for William Hans and we've been doing CGI, configurators, modeling and so on for them for, for, for several years. They had a few products that they felt they wanted to try and sell to the consumer market. So we took uh, our design team and we created an e-commerce website. We created some CGI imagery because they didn't have any within the, in, within the domestic setting. And they wanted some configurators that were integrated into their e-commerce platform. So I'm just going to take you through maybe some of those projects now, uh, some of those products now, and just show you the different formats and what we produce. So we'll start off with something like the chairs and stools. So they've got what's called the Broadway stool. And as you can see, it brings up the Shopify website and straight away you've got a 3D interactive product. And this is their high-end stool. And what we can do, which I think is really interesting, is that we're able to add in a lot of what I call different types of functions. Um, and what that means is that we can change the type of model and the way they look at it. So at the moment we're looking at a medium high stool, a low stool. But what's really interesting about this is that this page here is a standard e-commerce page. And all we've done is we've put in our 3D viewer and through a, an API which is a a bit of code really that gets the e-commerce store to talk to our 3D canvas. We're able to interpret all the options that the customers are making here. So I pick the high stool and I say I want to see what it's going to look like in the wall. What's nice is obviously I'm getting a little bit of a swatch there. I'm able to view it from all angles. I can try it in the oak coastal finish, which is quite nice, and the oak water, and even the oak black, which is, uh, which is very nice. We can also change the fabrics, so I can decide to go for maybe a fabric, they've got a mustard colour here which is quite nice, and again the grey fabric, and straight away this, these changes are being made instantly on the fly. And I think that's something really interesting because a lot of e-commerce platforms at the moment don't really give you that inst instant understanding of what it is the selections you've been making. We truly believe that this is going to be the future of e-commerce, 3D, augmented reality, and this type of integration is something that we think we're going to see a lot more. I can then pick a velvet, the green velvet, maybe with the oak sound. And what's interesting as well, part of the original carousel that they have here, we also have imagery that's integrated in as well. So we can have all the traditional means of communicating to your customer not just the 360 in the interactive product. This is really nice. This is one of the 360, uh, sorry, the, one of the CGI renders that we did for our customer. Obviously, because they didn't have any domestic settings, we needed to create some scenes, design them, do some creative direction, and create an ambience, a look and feel, and an aspirational type of uh, image that would appeal to their customers. And then we were able to create more imagery of the same product from different angles. So for example, if I go back to the chair, and one of these views here is actually the same scene, but looking from the different angles. So if I was within this scene, I turned around and looked to the right, I would actually be looking back at the kitchen. So it meant that by creating a, a digital environment, virtual environment for want of a better phrase, we were then able to harvest more content. And as you can see, there's another kitchen there in a slightly different style. 
obviously there's the 3D product configurator and again I'm able to make those choices, those changes and see them in one of the different sizes which is very nice. We also did other products as well, I think the sideboard is a really nice product that they've, they've got. The CGI I think is one of the, some of the best CGI that we've done as a business for a long time in terms of product manufacturers, absolutely stunning, really emphasises the quality of the veneer, you know it really gives you some context and again these can be changed to suit and updated and refreshed over time, giving you maybe sort of an opportunity to every six months keep up with the changes, trends and new finishes that have been brought to the marketplace. What else we've got here so these are the imagery uh, photographs sorry of the product so again there's not much difference between the CGI and the imagery so if you've got a catalog of existing photography and you like CGI then we can obviously make those blend in seamlessly so if I go back to the top here we can see we've got the 3d product viewer in this instance they've got three sizes 1500 wide 1000 wide and the 2 meter wide and then again, we can make those selections and those changes. Change the type of feet on it. You know, so you can really sort of get a great understanding of what it is your product is. Within that then we did the desks. And I think this is quite a nice product as well, which is the enhanced desk. 3D configurator here, be able to spin that around, really get an understanding of the product. Again, CGI imagery that we did, close-ups as well to make sure we're showing up some of those details. And then these are the product photography. So again, we're mixing the two to get a great understanding of the product. So if I go back to the 3D configurator, there's two types of frame finishes, and you can see how quickly that updated because this is all done in real time, live on the website. I think one of the interesting things about this type of the type of products we're producing now and putting into our 3D configurators and the e-commerce is that they don't have they don't need any plugins. So everything you see there just works instantly through any browser. And you know, it's not just a case of seeing the finishes as well. We can actually turn products on. In this instance, they wanted to show within context, so they've got the chairs there on and off, which is quite interesting. What's really nice about the veneer pattern on this product is it's got a radial veneer, and you can really see the contrast in that. And you can see the difference there. So again, we're giving you an instant understanding of exactly what the product is you're looking at and what it is you're buying and the selections you're making. So I hope that gives you a really nice understanding of the type of things that we've been working on. Gordon Russell, for me personally, is one of a, a really exciting product. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of things that we're trying to sort of um, package up within an e-commerce platform. So this is just a quick guide, this image here, to show you what we did. So we did CGI imagery, top. You've got the product studio renders. You've got some of those close-up product renders. You've got the 3D model configurators that it talks to and is integrated within any Shopify or e-commerce platform. And then you've got the overall digital web design. So I hope that gives you a really good insight into the type of things we were working at. On and some of the advances in technology really and now we're trying to make these all accessible. I think that it's really important to, ask, to sort of emphasize that you know a 3D model isn't just used for CGI, it can be used for interactive as well for e-commerce platforms. So hopefully you found this insightful. As they say on all YouTube channels, subscribe to our channel. You know, there'll be plenty more of these videos coming. If you like it, please comment, let me know. If there's anything else you'd like to understand, then just get in touch and I'd be happy to help. Thanks very much and uh, take care.